put it on sport mode, I didn't switch back. I'm like, man, this is uh, it's insane. And it stops for you. You barely have to use the brake until the, like the last minute. What is going on, YouTube? Run CMD Moto here. I am a tech guy, uh, you, former U.S. Army combat veteran, and uh, a dude that just loves motorcycles. So uh, before I show some of the, the live wire footage that I have, um, I want to share some of the questions that I had running through my head uh, because I can't imagine that I'm the only one that feels this way. So uh, with all these climate uh, pledges, you know, reaching uh, net zero by 2050, uh, an emissions target of 20 year 2030, and all these new like, fuel efficiency requirements, emission laws, and, and all that stuff that manufacturers are having to, to comply with, uh, I can only imagine it's only a matter of time before the electric market replaces the, the combustion engine. Uh, and, and from the, the practical perspective, it, it makes sense. Uh, if you think about it, bikes and electric bikes and electric cars are a lot more efficient. Uh, cars specifically, they, they require a lot less maintenance. You don't have to worry about oil changes uh, and transmission fluids. And well, they, they, they do have transmission. It's just very different, just one gear. But you get what I'm saying. Uh, uh, things like brakes will last a lot longer. Uh, uh, one of the wicked things that I realized uh, on this bike, and it's the same thing with cars. If you've driven an electric car before, uh, the second you let go of the gas, no, no pun intended, the throttle or whatever the pedal is, uh, the vehicle immediately slows down. And uh, I find myself not having to use much, many brakes at all. And uh, that, is, that, is, that is the cool thing. So everything... Uh, in the EV market makes sense. Uh, if that's going to happen, how long will it be before we replace uh, bikes? How long will the general public uh, be okay with letting go of the combustion engine? Uh, because for cars, this is a completely different monster. Uh, you, cars, people that drive cars uh, generally don't feel connected to the car like you do with a motorcycle. Uh, part of the reason why I ride motorcycles is not just from the, the fun aspect and, and the experience, but it's because the connection that you feel with the bike when you turn it on, you feel the rumble, the rumble, and uh, you hit the throttle and, and you feel the power coming through the motorcycle and eventually you move forward. Uh, to me, that's a very unique experience and I can imagine that you would get the same on the bike. and. Um, my opinions were correct. Uh, the, the, I had a really fun time riding the live wire, but uh, that connection was was, was not there. Uh, it, it's very quiet. Uh, you, you you don't even know that the bike is on until you hit the throttle and you start moving forward. And as you're driving down the road, it's very quiet. It sounds like a whole bunch of mosquitoes if you have multiple live wires <laughs> by you. So uh, I'm curious, uh, uh, how, how does everybody feel about this? Uh, when I first read the article that um, years ago that Harley was going to enter the the e motorcycle market, I was like, man, um, they're finally jumping on the bandwagon. Why are they trying to uh, in, expand the demographics, uh, reach the younger crowd? Uh, I guess that I now I ride a Harley, but I rode many different bikes uh, before, and. Uh, the the most common demographic is my age or older for Harley motorcycles. So uh, is that why they're trying to do that? How well did it do? I, I don't think it did that well, uh, especially here in the U.S. And uh, it, it, there's probably a reason for that, for the for what I explained before. So it's uh, I wasn't sure how would you know how would perceive it, but I wanted to give it a shot anyway. So, uh, but anyways, I'll stop talking now. Uh, enjoy some of the footage. And if you have any questions, just post your questions on the, on the comments and I'll do my best to answer to the best of my ability. I am not an expert on this and it's just my basic opinion. And uh, see you on the road. Oh man, it's so skinny. It's got a low center of gravity. Yeah. It feels like it's lightweight. Yeah. I can't flat foot it, but it doesn't really matter. There's a lot of torque in it. Yeah. <laughs> Start out gradually. Same route, guys. Same route. All right, so the controls looks like exactly the same as traditional Harley. Obviously, it's no clutch. Yeah, your mirrors also suck, so 
<laughs> you might want to make sure that you're not looking at your hands because everybody, that's all you see in these mirrors. Go ahead and turn your power on. Oh, I see power that. Uh, they're at a weird angle, I see what you're saying. <laughs> And then kickstand. Oh, that's right. Okay. So that says they don't start. Yeah, there's a delay. So hit your start button again. There you go. Now watch it, cause it's live. Yeah. It's so. Live, live. All right, baby, rock and roll. It's kind of weird. You don't feel any engine running or anything. It's completely quiet. Supposedly it's really torquey. It's weird because the, the foot controls are are way back. So it feels like almost like a sport bike stance because you're hunched over. Alright, ready to roll. Go. Oh man, this is so freaking wicked. Insane. The torque is like immediate. They only come in these two colors, right? Black and white. And they got orange. Oh, they got orange too. Yeah. The crazy thing is you can't even hear it. I, like, <laughs> I mean, not being able to hear it is kind of dangerous though. So much for uh, loud pipes save lives. What? All right, ready? Ooh. So I 
put it on sport mode, I didn't switch back. I'm like, man, this is uh, it's insane. And it stops for you. You barely have to use the brake until the, like the last minute. Cool, huh? Yes, this is insane. It's weird though. It's uh, it has like it's sort of like a high riding position. And it's more aggressive because you have to lean forward. But these, the price on these is almost as much as a bagger, right? Yeah, I mean, 20, Shit. 29. Damn, dude. You can buy like a really nice bagger for that. I guess uh, they're looking at the market in the future where, you know, gas prices, premium gas prices All right. are already getting up into the 425 a gallon. Yeah, but motorcycles don't use that much gas anyways. Well, 42, 45. but you can't <laughs> it's like super quiet it's insane well there you have it guys uh the live wire apparently this year is no longer harley davidson live wire uh they have branched off its own brand uh maybe to appeal uh to the younger crowd and pull away from the harley stigma but uh man it's uh again it would be a great second bike I don't know if it will replace my primary one given that i would really miss the rumble that comes with the bike so uh the torque was insanely powerful uh and impressive but again i don't know if i would be able to do you know every day all day i'm sorry oh uh, i will still miss this rumble 